31 year old George Bone taken into custody on Wednesday after her body was discovered at a home in the Southwest Valley. In the world of real crime stories, some cases are remembered not just for being violent, but for having a lot of grim secrets. The tale of George Anthony Bone and the shocking things he did after murdering his girlfriend grabbed the attention of experienced detectives and even regular people who like to solve mysteries. This is the chilling story of Beverly Ma, a woman who died under strange circumstances at the hands of her boyfriend, George Anthony Bone, and was kept in a closet for two months without anyone knowing. Amidst the vast Nevada desert, in the shimmering heart of the Silver State, lies the iconic and globally recognized city of Las Vegas. Beyond its reputation as the ultimate destination for exhilarating gambling, high-end shopping, food delights, mesmerizing live performances, and vibrant night celebrations, Las Vegas also plays a vital role in the state's financial affairs, business dealings, and a burgeoning cultural scene that often remains overshadowed by its entertainment attraction. Against this backdrop, we turn our attention to the harrowing story of George Anthony Bone, a 31-year-old resident of Las Vegas, Nevada. His otherwise ordinary home on Railroad River Avenue would soon become the focal point of a chilling and gruesome crime that would shock the entire city. George Anthony Bone stood accused of brutally murdering his girlfriend, Beverly Ma, in circumstances that defy belief. Even more shocking was the revelation that Beverly's lifeless body had been concealed within a closet for an excruciating two-month period, a horrifying secret that would eventually come to light, untangling a sinister mystery that had gripped the community. Adding to the troubling story, court records unveiled a dark chapter in George Anthony Bone's past. A decade earlier, he had found himself entangled in Nevada's criminal justice system, forever marked as a registered sex offender. The charges that damaged his record involved acts of sexual assault and lewdness with a minor, casting an even darker shadow over the already grim circumstances surrounding Beverly May's tragic demise. This contrast of Las Vegas's dazzling facade and the grim hidden flow of this crime paints a haunting tableau of a city that holds within its borders both the allure of pleasure and the specter of pain. The story of George Anthony Bone and Beverly Ma serves as a stark reminder that even within the most glamorous of cities, darkness can fester and secrets can lie hidden, waiting to disrupt the lives of those who call it home. As the investigation unfolds, it peels back the layers of this mysterious story, exposing the complex web of intrigue and despair that has left a permanent impression on Las Vegas, the city of both dreams and nightmares. Apart from the charge of open murder, Bone was taken into custody on Wednesday and faced an additional accusation of not properly registering as a sex offender. This came about because his name was found in Nevada's registry, but it was linked to a different address than the one where he was supposed to be living with his girlfriend who had passed away. George Anthony Bone and Beverly Ma shared a history that traced back to their high school days, but their romantic involvement didn't begin until 2019 shortly after Bone's release from prison. Bone elaborated on these details during an interview with the police, shedding light on the early stages of their relationship. In July of 2022, they took the significant step of moving in together, intertwining their lives more closely. However, what started as a seemingly typical union soon took a dark and troubling turn. According to Bone's account, they encountered arguments, much like any other couple. Yet, the nature of these disagreements rapidly evolved into something far more ominous. An anonymous neighbor, who had been a reluctant witness to their turbulent relationship, revealed that the couple's quarrels became a nearly daily occurrence. As time passed, the disputes seemed to gain momentum and intensity. These clashes usually ignited around midday, marked by voices raised to a fever pitch and the resonant slam of doors, serving as an audible testament to the escalating tensions. However, the most distressing moments appeared to occur during the unholy hours of 1 or 2 a.m. At these late-night junctures, distressing phrases like keep your hands off me and don't touch me would pierce through the stillness of the night, offering a disconcerting glimpse into the unsettling dynamics of their relationship. This troubling pattern of conflict would ultimately play a vital role in the grim events that would later unfold. Sadly, these escalating conflicts between George Anthony Bone and Beverly Ma would eventually coincide 
side with the fateful moment of Beverly Ma's passing. As their ugly arguments continued to spiral into increasingly volatile territory, it became evident that the relationship was speeding towards a grim and almost expected conclusion. Within the confines of their shared space, it felt as if an ominous cloud of inevitability hung heavily over their heads. In a situation where neither party was willing to make the difficult decision to leave, the tragic outcome that eventually unfolded appeared almost predestined, casting a shadow of sorrow over their rocky relationship. The lifeless and rotting body of Beverly Ma was discovered hidden within a closet in the residence of George Anthony Bone. Bone's account of this grim discovery was deeply unsettling. He asserted that Beverly Ma had met a tragic end by her own hands. This was a shocking revelation, as according to Bone, Beverly Ma used a belt as an instrument of self-strangulation. According to Bone, this horrific incident occurred on a fateful day, either on May 5th or May 15th. Though the exact date seemed to escape his memory, overwhelmed by confusion and a sense of shock, Bone found himself at a loss for how to react in the face of such a distressing situation. In his confused state, he decided to cover her lifeless form with a blanket. Fear played a significant role in his subsequent actions, as he confessed to a paralyzing hesitation in reporting the incident to the authorities. This hesitation was rooted in a deep-seated dread of the potential consequences, particularly the impending threat of a swift return to the confines of a jail cell. George Anthony Bone's account of events appeared highly questionable, given his behavior, which was far from consistent with his claims. In a startling display of nonchalance, he continued with his daily routine as if nothing had occurred, even taking the audacious step of using Beverly Ma's Amazon account for his personal shopping needs. According to the arrest report, Bone went on to make over 170 purchases under Beverly Ma's name. He had been using her money all this time for his personal gains. This glaring contradiction between his actions and his side of the story of events casts substantial doubt on the credibility and authenticity of Bone's claims. During his conversation with the police, George Anthony Bone revealed an incredibly peculiar detail. He spoke about positioning a cooler near the closet door, an act driven by an unusual belief that it would function as an indicator if Beverly Beverly Ma were to somehow revive, a notion seemingly inspired by the horror movie The Grudge. This strange safety measure added a layer of complexity to the already unsettling circumstances. Furthermore, Bone revealed that he had adjusted the air conditioner to a chilling 60 degrees in an attempt to mitigate the influx of flies that had ominously gathered around Beverly Ma's lifeless and rotting body. These bizarre and seemingly irrational actions further added to the mystifying and disturbing nature of the case, leaving investigators and observers confused about the true motivations and mindset of George Anthony Bone during this traumatic period. On the fateful day of July the 6th, a member of Beverly Ma's family was forced into action upon receiving an alarmingly high electric bill, amounting to a shocking $700. Concerned by this financial anomaly, they quickly contacted an air conditioning repair professional, and while staying on the line with them, guided the technician to Beverly Ma's residence. Upon reaching her home, the repairman encountered a strange silence when he rang the doorbell. However, thanks to the access code provided by the family member, he gained entry into the house. Despite making repeated calls for Beverly Ma, no response echoed through the house. It was at this point that Beverly Ma's family made the heart-wrenching decision to personally visit her residence, sensing that something was definitely off. As outlined in the report, it was one of Ma's relatives who initially dialed 911. While on the call with the emergency dispatcher, they explained their reason for being at the residence that Bone and Ma shared. They were there to search for her. According to sources, the female family member shared with investigators that Bone had informed them that Ma was dead and gone. Subsequently, Bone guided them upstairs to the closet where Ma's body was concealed. During this visit, the family member observed something rather unusual, which drew her immediate attention. She noticed a cooler strategically positioned against the bedroom closet door with a towel placed at the bottom to block any gap. This odd discovery raised further questions about the circumstances surrounding Ma's tragic demise. The story continues to uncover that Bone, in a strange turn of events, actually encouraged the family member to open the closet and inspect its contents. It was at this chilling moment 
that they made the grim discovery of Ma's badly decomposed body. Adding to the growing sense of unease, Beverly Ma's family mentioned receiving a text message from her phone on June 22, in which she regretfully conveyed her inability to attend a July 4th party in Washington. Subsequently, they messaged her again on July 2nd, but to their growing concern, received no response, as reported by the TV station. This sudden and strange silence began to raise various questions about Ma's well-being and added to the sense of unease and mystery surrounding her disappearance. The investigation now hints at the possibility that Beverly Ma met her unfortunate fate on May 4th, the very same day she urgently dialed 911 in a state of panic. During that distressing call, the 911 dispatchers heard the sounds of a heated argument between a man and a woman. The call concluded with a woman's voice uttering a sad why. When the police responded to the call and arrived at the house that day, they knocked on the door, but there was no answer from within. This series of events raised red flags, indicating that something was amiss. As described in the report, the family member who was present portrayed Bone as oddly unconcerned about the situation. Remarkably, they mentioned that he appeared quite casual, even nonchalant, as he went about the routine task of brushing his teeth while speaking to them. According to the report, the 911 call marked Ma's final outgoing call before her passing. During that period, 84 incoming calls to her phone went unanswered. Police have reservations about Ma's death being a suicide attempt, as mentioned in the report. They raised these doubts to Bone, highlighting the inconsistencies. In response, Bone admitted not knowing how to handle a deceased body. Police arrested and placed Bone in custody at the Clark County Detention Center, charging him with open murder. He is currently being held without bail and was scheduled to appear in court next Tuesday, August 1st as stated in court records. The Clark County Coroner's Office is responsible for confirming the identity of the victim and determining the cause and manner of death, as per the police. As of now, no immediate information about these specifics has been provided by a representative from the coroner's office. And so, what began as a normal story took a sharp turn into something much more puzzling. Their fights, Bone's odd behavior, and the strange details all leave us with more questions than answers. As we wrap up our exploration with the currently available data, we're left wondering, what happened to Beverly Ma? Why did George Anthony Bone act the way he did? The truth might be stranger and scarier than we thought. The tragic demise of Beverly Ma at the hands of her boyfriend gives us an insight into some underlying causes that led to his girlfriend's chilling murder. Bone's previous conviction as a registered sex offender for sexual assault of a minor suggests Bone's tendency to engage in harmful behavior and raises questions about his psychological profile. If we look deep into his turbulent relationship with Beverly May, it provides us insights into his social skills, attachment style, and emotional stability. Their constant fights indicate how turbulent their relationship was and indicate an underlying issue. If we talk about motive or trigger, it could be anything including jealousy, revenge, or even desire for control. George Anthony Bone might have an underlying psychological disorder, such as an antisocial personality disorder, borderline personality disorder, or psychotic disorder. George Anthony Bone's behavior after murdering her was even more baffling. His decision to hide her body in the closet, continuing with his daily activities, while also using her Amazon account for personal purchases just shows his emotional detachment, lack of empathy, and possible dissociation from reality. Overall, George Anthony Bone's real motive behind what he did is still unknown. But if we look at the patterns, it is safe to say that George Anthony Bone is indeed suffering from some mental and behavioral issues to have done something as horrifying as murdering his girlfriend and even keeping her in his closet for a month.